Welcome to our fifth lecture of complex analysis. In this lecture, we will discuss on complex integration. In your previous classes, you studied on integration. That time, the theme was integration limit x1, x2, fx, dx. Then this x was real. dx was real also these limits these two limits they are also real but now in complex integration that you have uh, integration limit z1 z2 fz dz here this z is complex number not correct complex number as this complex number is using as a variable in this function that's why this z is complex variable here z is complex variable dz is complex and these two limits z1 and z2 they are complex number <coughs> where you will see this kind of integration where you will see this kind of integration is complex integration here one question comes the integration here this integration is with respect to z and the value of z is z equal x plus i y then when we will substitute z by x plus i y I repeat students when we will substitute z by x plus i y this whole integration or this whole question will convert to x and y when we will substitute z by x plus i y this whole question will convert to x and y but these two limits z1 and z2 you will write this any one of these two variables x and y to solve this integration now the question is to solve a question in which variable we should convert z1 and z2 in x or in y uh, the answer is if you convert this whole question into x if you convert this whole question into x then the limit of this integration will be in x or if we convert this whole question into y then the limit of integration will be in y again another question comes here how will we convert x into y or y into x and the answer is to solve a question of complex integration we are always given a link along which we will integrate I repeat students to solve a question of complex integration we are always given a link along which we will integrate the line or circle or curve along which we will integrate with the help of equation of that line or circle or curve we will be able to convert x into y and y into x this is how we will solve the problems of complex integration 
some other things that you need to solve the problems of complex integration uh, one is here z is equal to x plus i y and we can write it as dz is equal dx plus i d y we need this thing in our future problems and these are the some basic concepts now we'll take a question and in that question we'll understand which thing we need to keep in mind while solving complex integration okay let's see a question evaluate integration limit 0 to 2 plus i z bar whole square uh, dz along the line y co x by uh, 2 so here this integration 0 to 2 plus i z bar whole square dz is equal to z bar is the conjugate of z that means z bar is equal to x minus i y and dz is equal to dx plus i dy here z bar is the conjugate of z that's why z bar equal x minus i y equal to 0 2 plus i it will be x square plus i y whole square minus i into 2x y uh, and it will be dx plus i dy here i square is equal to minus 1 that's why it will be minus y square <coughs> here the whole thing is in terms of x and y but we need to convert the whole thing in any one of x and y for this we are given a link for this we are given a link y equal x by 2 since y equal x by 2 uh, we can write it as x equal to y that means dx is equal to dy now you can convert this whole form into x by using y equal x by 2 or you can convert this whole thing in terms of y by using x equal to y you can use any one of these two but i am using right now this i am using x equal to y so it will be uh, I am not writing the limit right now. Uh, it will be 4y square minus y square minus i into 2 into uh, x equal to y. That's why it will be 2y into y. Uh, dx equal to dy. So it will be 2dy plus i dy. I have converted this whole thing into y by using x equal to y. But now, how do I convert the limits? As the whole thing is in the form of y. That's why I have to convert these limits into 
why how okay let's see it's very easy um, we can write zero as zero plus zero i we can write zero in this form also two plus i we can write this two plus one into i <coughs> As the whole thing is in the form of uh, y, that's why we will take the limit only for y or the here the thing, uh, this limit will be 1 and this lower limit will be 0. This limit will be 0 and this limit will be 1. I repeat students as the whole thing that you convert it into y that's why the limits must be in terms of y and here from these two limits the part of y is 1 and 0 that's why we have written uh, 1 here and 0 here if these whole things are in terms of x then the limits uh, should be 2 0 2 0 okay now this equal to 0 to 1 Uh, this will be 3y square minus 4i y square and take dy common so it will be 2 plus i into dy Here y square is common. <coughs> That's why if we take uh, y square as common, uh, three minus four y will come out, and three minus four y is a constant, and two plus i is also a constant. That why that so we can write um, as three minus four y is a constant, and two plus i is a constant. Uh, so it will be 3 minus 4 i into 2 plus i integration 0 to 1 y square dy so it will be T minus four i two plus i uh, and it will be uh, y cube by three zero to one y cube by three. If we solve this, it will be uh, 6 uh, minus 3i uh, minus 8i 3i uh, plus 4. Okay. Then here it will be. Uh, 1 cube by 3 minus 0 that means it will be just 1 by 3 so 
the answer will be um, it will be 6 plus 10 uh, 10 by 3 uh, at it will be minus 5 that's it will be minus 5 by 3 i So it is the record answer.